everyone, this is Anadja Saem Ocho, and in this video, I will discuss with you the transpiration in plants. In the previous one, I discussed about the photosynthesis on how carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight was being converted into energy and process as a plant food. Yes, I will show you how water is being absorbed by the plants and also being transpired or evaporated into a water vapor. So bear with me as I discuss with you this video. In the process of photosynthesis, plants absorbs water and use it. But not all water being absorbed is being used. The excess amount of water is being transpired. Transpiration is the process by which plant lose water in the form of water vapor. So, how does transpiration take place in plants? In plants, Water is acquired, absorbed by the root hairs, and moves through two pathways, the apoplast pathway and the symplast pathway. Apoplast pathway, where water molecules move through cell wall without any involvement of any membranes. And the symplast pathway, where the movement of water molecules is from cell to cell through plasmodesmata to asylum by a process called osmosis. Osmosis is the net movement of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane from an area of higher to an area of lower water potential. Only a small percentage of water is used by the plants. The rest gets evaporated from the surface of the leaves. Next, from the roots, the water is further transported upward through the stems to the cells through xylem which acts as the pipeline that transports the water and soluble nutrients through the plant. Xylems are thickly strengthened by lignin as it transport system. Water then enters through mesophyll cells through somata. Stomata are openings on the leaf surface through which transpiration takes place. It consists of pair of bean-shaped cells called guard cell, which regulate the opening and closing of stomata. So basically, during photosynthesis, a containing carbon dioxide diffuses into the stomata. Oxygen produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis diffuses out through same opening. Simultaneously, water vapor present in the leaf also diffuses out into the atmosphere through stomata. The guard cell in the stomata has its opening and closing. The cells will be open when the cell is turgid and it will be closed when the cell is flaccid. Transpiration exerts a pool of water molecules upwards to the stomata to be evaporated. Hydrogen bonds in the xylem cause the water molecules to stick together, a phenomenon called cohesion. As each water molecule evaporates, it pulls on the next water molecule. The adhesion of water to walls of the xylem cells helps to keep gravity from pulling the water molecules back down. The transpiration pool helps water rising to the leaves against the force of gravity. As each water molecule escapes from the leaves, it pulls a column of water molecule upward, thus the plant xylem uses the movement of evaporating molecules, cohesion and adhesion, to draw water from its roots upwards to its leaves. Aside from stomatal transpiration where about 90% of water loss from plants takes place, Transpiration is done through lenticels, which are minute opening in the stem. It is called lenticular transpiration. About 0.1% of water loss takes place through it. Transpiration also takes place from the leaf surface. It is covered by waxy layer called cuticle. Cuticular transpiration helps the leaf to reduce the amount of transpiration taking place. Still about 10% of total transpiration may take place through the cuticle. 
we can conclude that the transpiration in plants can be done in three ways. These are through stomata, landy cells, and leaf surface or the cuticle. If hot dry condition require the plant to conserve water, the guard cells closes the stomata. Although closing the stomata reduces water loss, this also slows down photosynthesis and may cause the plants to overheat. In the leaves, majority the water vapor is being transpired or evaporated into the atmosphere. That ends the video on transpiration in plants. I hope you had learned something and see you in the next video.